All right, Connor, so this is gonna be a quick video on your 1973 Nishijin Model A style machine. Um, this is obviously the front side. Fully restored playfield replacement and uh, tried to keep as much original as I possibly could with the stickers, the labels, and all that good stuff. So let's go around to the back side. And as you can see, everything looks nice and shiny and clean. Nothing like it did before I got to this one here. And um, everything is working exactly like it should. So just to give you a quick rundown on this machine here, uh, this is where you're going to put all of your balls. Um, this plug here that I wired into the machine, all you're going to need to do is plug that into the electrical outlet on the wall and your lights will function. Um, the leads just go right into the yellow and red terminals there. It doesn't matter which wire goes into which terminal. Basically, that's going to run your ball empty light up here and your jackpot light, which is right here in the center. The jackpot light here is going to be operated by this leaf switch, which basically tilts as the seesaw goes down. And I'm not going to force this here or I'll break something. And then your ball empty light here which if I were to plug this machine in right now, um, you'll see that that light has come on, indicating that there are no balls in the hopper. Um, that light is operated by this micro switch, and you'll see that this is attached to um, this kind of white lever here. And when I push this down, which would be pushed down by pachinko balls, you'll see that that light comes, it shuts off. Um, you'll see that those contacts there are no longer um, hitting each other. All right, so basically what's going to happen here is your jackpot balls are going to be stacked up in this back hopper here. They're going to filter down this uh, tin channel here. And then there's this contraption that actually lets balls come into this bottom hopper um, as this bottom hopper's two white pieces here are um, not fully depressed anymore. So basically you're going to have balls that end up in here and you're going to have like overload balls that end up in this hopper. Um, I will show you how this works in the video, but um, balls will pay out out of this here and this tray here. And this basically tilts as you get jackpots and it releases them down this channel out to the front of the machine. And this particular machine is kind of cool has this attachment here that will actually give you your jackpot ball back and feed it through down to the bottom tray on the front of the machine. So I'm going to go ahead and film some video of the machine paying out some jackpots as well as how the back of the machine functions. So then as you'll see here, this ball empty light is on, which kind of looks like a little bit of honeycomb there. Just indicates that you don't have any balls here in the back hopper. We're gonna fix that here in just a second. Okay. You can now see that that light is off and um, I always forget to leave some in the tray, but you'll basically take some balls here in the tray and those will, those will begin to feed into your, your uh, shooter ramp here. Alright, so here I'm going to quickly show you kind of how the jackpot balls feed down through this tin tray into this mechanism here. Uh, basically, I've, all of these adjustments here and everything are, are rigged up so that when, flip this back, when these balls are out of these two tracks and they don't compress those two little white um, levers right here down, 
um, it'll basically pull this guy here. Which I'll show you that again. And it will actually load the balls into I'll load the balls into your your second um, tray here, and then uh, they'll eventually filter down into your little um, jackpot chamber here. Um, definitely before anything, before you play, make sure that this seesaw is in the upward position as it is now. Um, if you don't, all of your jackpot balls are going to back up right in here. So you need to make sure that's in the upward position. It'll reset itself after each jackpot. You don't need to worry about that. So, um, yeah, it's a pretty cool machine. Lots of mechanical stuff going on down here in the bottom half of it. Um, definitely one of the more complex models that Nishijin has made as far as mechanical aspects go. But um, if you need any help, of course, just reach out, and I will be happy to uh, guide you through any little issues you might have with it. And this little latch right here is going to be helpful for you if you want to get into the front of the machine. You're just going to press this up like so. That will release your front door here and it'll allow you access to the front play field of your machine. Um, if you ever want to go in there and adjust the nails to make the machine harder or uh, easier, this is how you would do it. And then um, if you ever have any issue with your ball tray and, and balls feeding into um, your shooter ramp, what you're going to do is press this little button right here down and pull this out and you can get into uh, these components in here. You shouldn't ever need to do that, but let's say some like carpet fuzz or something were to get jammed in there, then that's pretty easy to, uh, to fix yourself. And then to close it, all you're going to do is just push this close very gently like so. Same with your playfield door here. And that'll just snap shut. So that is your 1973 Nishijin Model A. And uh, thank you for uh, having a restoration done with me. Like I said, if you have any questions, please reach out.